You've probably heard this sound before. This is the sound of the death whistle, a clay whistle from ancient Aztec, which became an internet phenomenon thanks to this video. So this is the death whistle. You can see Xavier Quijas Ixayotl, a specialist of ancient clay flutes and instrument maker, who sadly passed away in 2020, talking about the traditional functions of this scary object. And make a lot of noise to cause a big psychological effects to the enemy. So this is very intimidating instruments and this is very unique. What I hear is a combination of white noise, windy sound and flute sound with a crazy texture. I got this bird call I use a lot in my music. I think it is the closest sound I got in my actual collection. I want to know how it works and if I can try to make similar sound without learning pottery. Just to be clear, my intention is not to imitate or to mock a culture, discover new instruments and historical, cultural contexts associated with fascinates me, but here I will be only interested in the physical object and the acoustic result. So let's dissect this whistle. I made a few researches and found images of cuts. It seems to confirm this is the air conduct. This is the edge where the sound is created. This vessel is the air that vibrates. And this part must be a resonator. The death whistle is a vessel flute. The vessel flutes are air conduct with a simple blowing hole like the shoon or an air conduct like ocarina. They can take various shapes and sizes. The operation of the holes is different too. On tubular flutes, the holes open from the end of the flute to play a complete scale. On vessel flutes, this is only the size of the hole that changes the pitch and not the location, but we deviate from the subject. Second search, how to make this whistle. This guy made a clay one, but the sound isn't really like the original. I found this video with very creative sound experiment, included a triple death whistle. Wei Shishian, you're my new hero. I finally found this video, seems perfect. The prototype is very low-tech, a metal straw for the air conduct, a plastic vessel closed by a washer for the sounding part, a deformed pipe for the resonator. Let's see how it sounds. That sounds amazing. I want to try this immediately. Let's start with the sounding part. I got some metal washers that fits on this pipe. I made a sliding block to try different air volumes. Too large, a smaller one. Much better. The sound literally changes with the angle of the air inlet. The sound is already good, let's build some of the sizes. For the big one, I need to make my own washer with a tin can lid. Meet the Death Army. Scary, isn't it? For the resonator, I'm gonna try with a bigger pipe and a block. I'm so happy right now. Those ones are doubles for a simple reason. I missed my first hole. So I made a second one to get this death whistle sound. And I put a pipe into the first one to get a different sound. This one is terrifying. And it's so loud, close to physical pain. This one is more windy than Death Whistle.
I'm quite happy with the results. And now, if you follow my videos, you know what is the next step. This part is a pipe. I can put a sleeve and connect more pipes. So, can I tune it and make a four octave chromatic instrument? <laughs> It kind of works. Definitely not a solo instrument. I don't know how I will use it in my music for now, but I'm gonna prepare a sample pack for you. This song will be available on my Patreon with a lot more content. The blueprints of those models. Take a look. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video. It helps me a lot. See you soon. Bye.